told from the day it was born, for the tree was born in a thunderstorm. Grow, grow the lightning tree, it's never too late for you and me. Grow, grow the lightning tree, never give in too easily. I'd have guessed where you'd be. Is that the doctor's car? Yeah, he's in with the colonel. Something wrong? I don't think so. Just chatting. Look, the colonel wants to see you. I'll tell him you're here at last. You're up. Won't be a minute. Then you'll have a nice rub down. All right? You'll wear that horse out, you know. No, I won't, Uncle. He loves it. Goes more beautifully every day. You know best. Look, something's come up. I want you to go over to Derwent House and pick up a horse. We're going to look after it for a while. But can't Steve go? I'm going out, Dora. Got a lift with the doctor. Where are you going? Give Wendy a riding lesson on Tammany. I didn't know you were still seeing her. A riding lesson. We promised. In the dark? We had to wait for you, didn't we? Look, when you get there, take the left-hand turn. Now, don't get that wrong, for goodness sake. Can't imagine what sort of rumpus it'd cause if we got the wrong one, eh, Doctor? Oh, heaven forbid. No, the left-hand stable. It's a chestnut horse. Now, just go round the back and collect it. I said you'd be there today. Come on, Copper. A day's work's never done. For some. for a walk. There. Easy now. Easy. We'll soon have you... Who's that? Who's there? What do you want? Oh, you from Follyfoot? Yes, I'm Dora. I was told to collect the horse. Oh, well, that's all right, then. She's not going to like it, you know. Who? Delilah. She and Samson here have been stable companions ever since they came here. I don't think there's a night when these two haven't been aside of each other. She's not going to like it any more than Samson is, being separated. Well, why do they have to be? Well, that's Miss Agnes's horse, you see. Only she's ill. Can't you look after it? Yeah, it's more than my life's worth talking to you. They're sisters, you see. Miss Agnes and Miss Emily. They've lived in this same house together for nigh on 20 years. And in all that time, how often do you think they spoke to each other? I don't know. Not once. It's no lie. Not once. Shadow? Yes, Miss Emily? What are you doing? Just settling Samson. I shall be a minute. That creature gone from next door yet? Just going down now. Someone's collecting her. Good riddance. Mangy or careful brute. Uh, they won't like being separated, you know. It'll be the first time that these... Poppycock. Get some proper care. Do it good. Now do come along. Yes, Miss Emily. Uh, 
Ah, about time too. Your supper's spoiled. I don't want any. Look, you've got to eat. You didn't have any dinner. Gallivanting about on that horse of yours? I'm not hungry. Now listen, you don't solve any problems on an empty stomach. Nor by moping, neither. Listen, young lady, I'm going to cook you an omelette. And if you don't eat it, there's going to be trouble. There we are, then. One omelette coming up. Now, take an egg and one makes two. And then uh, you'll get da, a omelette for you. <laughs> What kept you out there so long? You was blooming ages. Delilah? She's not eating either. I put an extra copper for company, but they just tried to bite each other. I've put her up at the top now. By herself. <sighs> You're a right pair, aren't you? Now, you've got to snap out of it, young lady. For both of you. Trouble? Yes, she won't eat anything. Must be in love. Whose is it, anyway? She's from the Derwent place. What, are those old weirdies? <laughs> well, what's up, then? One of them popped it? No. Ill. Oh. We do live in troubled times, don't we? Hey, Slugger! Oh, hello. Hi. You were late? Yeah. Hey, Slugs, who's looking after Agnes Derwent? Is there anyone? Well, a doctor's calling and he'll probably... I was thinking about her food. God knows. Well, I'm going to go up there, see if she wants anything, get her a meal. You? Yeah. Can you cook? Oh, I don't know. I never tried. <laughs> <laughs> never tried? She said she might be the best cook in the world, but who's going to know until she's tried? <laughs> she enough moody, isn't she? And you haven't been, I suppose. Coming in like. Come in, come in. <laughs> Are you all right? I was wondering if there's anything you want. No, dear, no, I can manage. I'm not incapable yet. 
I just slip down and pop back into bed afterwards. No trouble. And how's Delilah? Fine. Well, you're lying to me, if I can tell. Has she eaten? No. I knew it. And she won't. She'll miss Samson. Isn't there something we can do? I mean, what well, can't your sister? Ah, uh, you try asking her. She's a pig-headed, selfish and stupid woman. Wouldn't lift so much as a finger. I know you're listening. Don't think I don't know. Miss Derwent. She, she leaves. Miss Derwent. Miss Derwent. What do you want? Can I talk to you? It's about Delilah. Good riddance, silly creature. Better off where it is. She hasn't eaten anything. She's pining for Samson. They shouldn't be separated. Poppycock, you're trying to interfere. I won't have it. But the horses! Do you understand? Don't try and interfere. Now stop it, you're just being silly. Eat it up. Come on. Any joy? No. Steve, it's been two days. We'll have to take her back. There's no one to look after her. We could go over, take it in turns or something. That's a marvellous idea. Of course. Can we go now? Why not? Steve. Was I very grumpy about Wendy? Yes. Yes, you were. I'm sorry. About me and Wendy? Yes. That too. Liar. Delilah. Well, well, well. Now isn't that interesting? You don't miss much, dear big ears. <laughs> hey, Steve. Do you believe in horoscopes? Nah, they're silly things, aren't they? <laughs> Mind you. Sometimes. Now, let's see. A stranger will pass from your life. Well, it's all four legs here, isn't it? <laughs> you see, it's amazing, amazing. But... Oh, unhappy day. Another stranger, a dark one, not so many legs, will make you grumpy, for he has eyes only for someone else. Ah, uh, but Venus is in decline. Poor old Venus. Yeah, blonde, wasn't she? Beware the charms, he says here, of a Delilah. There's nothing there. You just make it all <laughs> up, don't you? No, leave it, Steve. I'll get the horses. We are touchy, aren't we? <laughs> That's the doctor's car. Can you take Delilah? Yeah. Hello. What are you doing here? It's Delilah. We've had to bring her back. How's Miss Agnes? I'm sending her to hospital. Oh, no. Running about the house with flu and a temperature. Never heard anything like it. What else could she do? I know. I offered her a nurse, but I think she's hoping her sister would... Uh... What, Emily? 
Hardly. Anyhow, it's pneumonia now, and hospital is the place. Does Emily know? I'm just going to tell her, if, uh, if I can find my way round. She might as well know what she's let her sister in for. Two people live so close and yet feel nothing for each other. In the same house. It's impossible. Why do you say that? People can live for years and not. I don't see why not anyway. Don't you? Are you talking about them? Or us? Ron's upset you, hasn't he? He was beastly. Do you think I don't know what's going on? I'm not blind. You give yourself away a hundred times a day. Don't you? Look. Ron didn't say anything we didn't know already. Do you think... You think you love me? Isn't that it? Oh, Dora. Do you know what my old grandmother used to say? She used to say that life's a treasure hunt. And we all go through our lives collecting treasures we can remember when we're old. Special moments, places, and people. She believed the more treasures you had, the longer you lived. Because <laughs> you had more nice things to look back on, I suppose. You ever heard that? She really believed it. And there's things I'll remember. Like the first time I ever rode a horse. My mother's face when she discovered I'd gone to find her. To tell her everything was all right. And this afternoon. You, Dora. Working with you, knowing you. And sharing my days with you. These are all treasures. We can't ask for more, because more wouldn't work. We're in the same house, but we're miles apart. No, we're not. We are miles. Who's more afraid of change? You or me? Love changes things. It doesn't have to. But it does. We're loners, Dora. From different worlds. I think I'm lucky to have shared this much with you. All you are and... and all you mean to me. Where are you 
you're going. We. Where are we going, Dora? We share things, remember? We're going back to that house. To that woman. Gaps are bridgeable. Some take a little longer than others. That's all. Dora. We've talked about it. You'll feel better now. You see. What's it all about? Tell me. Come on, own up. You'll feel better if you talk about it. It does help. <laughs> it all seems so silly, really. Oh, I bet it is, when you spell it out. She put the tea in first, in the cup. I always like the milk in first. Other things, too. Lots of them. It doesn't seem to matter anymore. It doesn't. She's ill and she needs you. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. Just go to her. And Emily. I don't know. They've left their treasure on a bit late in life, haven't they? My first real treasure. A beautiful day. Thank you. Come on. If we're going to look after these two love birds, we better get some things. I'll race you back to Folly. Want them to, then it's up to you. Grow, grow the lightning tree. It's never too late for you and me. Grow, grow the lightning tree. Never give in too easily. Down in the meadow in the window screen, I was thinking of the lightning tree. Dreams come true when you want them to. If you want them to,